In this video, we're talking about Rolle's theorem and how to use Rolle's theorem to show that a function has a horizontal tangent line inside of an interval. So in this particular problem, we've been given the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x, and we're being asked to show that there's some value inside the interval 0 to 2 where f of x has a horizontal tangent line. So how do we do that using Rolle's theorem? Well, first of all, Rolle's theorem is built on three assumptions. If we don't meet any one of those three assumptions, then we can't use Rolle's theorem to prove the existence of a horizontal tangent line. So all three of these things have to be met. First of all, f of x has to be continuous in the interval 0 to 2. So if we look at this function, it's a simple polynomial function, which means that we know it's going to be continuous because all simple polynomial functions are continuous. And just another way to think about that, there's no denominators in this function where the value of the denominator could be zero causing a vertical asymptote or discontinuity. There's no square root where we could have a negative value underneath the square root. There's no natural log function where we could have a negative argument inside the natural log that would make the function discontinuous. So there's nothing about just this x squared minus 2x to make us think that the function would be discontinuous. And in fact, we know that since it's a polynomial function, it is continuous. So we can go ahead and say that we've met that condition. And then f of x has to be differentiable. Remember, if there's any point of discontinuity, the function is not going to be differentiable at that point. There are no points of discontinuity, so we just need to make sure that we can differentiate this function. And in fact, if we just take the derivative and we say f prime of x is equal to, the derivative of x squared is 2x and the derivative of negative 2x is negative 2. So the derivative is 2x minus 2, and we can say that the function is differentiable everywhere in the interval. And then the last condition is that f of a has to be equal to f of b. Well, keep in mind that a and b here come from these values, the edges of our interval, so a and b. So what we need to do is check the value of the function at a and check the value of the function at b and make sure that they're equal to one another. So if we try to find f of a, if we say f of a is going to be equal to, a is 0, so that's going to be equal to f of 0, which is what we get when we plug 0 into this right-hand side. So we would get 0 squared minus 2 times 0, and that would simplify to 0 minus 0, or just 0. Then we want to check f of b, so f of b is going to be equal to, since b is 2, it's going to be equal to f of 2, which is what we get when we plug 2 into the right-hand side. So we would end up here with 2 squared minus 2 times 2, and that'll be 4 minus 4, or 0. So then the question is, are these values here equal to one another? Well, we got 0 for f of a, and we got 0 for f of b, so we can go ahead and confirm that f of a does equal f of b. So with those three conditions met, what Rolle's theorem tells us is that there's some value, we'll call it c, inside of our interval. So if you can imagine our interval is from 0 to 2. If we just draw a simple xy coordinate system, like this, a really small one, we can say that the interval that we're interested in is from x equals 0 right here to, let's say, x equals 2 is right here. So this is the interval we're interested in. So there's going to be some value, and let's say it's right here, some value c inside the interval, which is a to b. So some value c inside of that interval where the tangent line to the function is horizontal. And what do we know about horizontal tangent lines? Well, any horizontal line has a slope of 0. So we'd be looking for the point at which the slope of the tangent line was equal to 0. Well, the slope of the tangent line we get by finding the derivative of the original function. So we already found that derivative, f prime of x is equal to 2x minus 2. We want to set that equal to 0 because 2x minus 2 represents the slope of the tangent line. So if we take this right-hand side and set it equal to 0 and solve for x, what we're saying is that we're looking for values of x where the slope of the tangent line is 0 or where the tangent line is therefore horizontal. So we want to take this 2x minus 2 value, set it equal to 0, and then we're going to solve for x. We'll add 2 to both sides and we'll get 2x is equal to 2. We'll divide both sides by 2 and we'll get x is equal to 1. Now this is a value that's inside of our interval. Remember our interval was 0 to 2. x equals 1 is between 0 and 2. So Rolle's theorem told us that because f of x was continuous in the interval, differentiable in the interval, and that f of a was equal to f of b, Rolle's theorem told us that there was a value, and we just found it, but that there was a value at c 
where the derivative, which is the slope of the tangent line, would be zero, and therefore where the tangent line would be horizontal. So we can say that at x is equal to one, this function f of x equals x squared minus two x has a horizontal tangent line.